You want to take a good solo? You got to have licks. We already talked about it. Tools in your belt. So many tools. At the end of this video today, I'm issuing a challenge. Who doesn't like a good challenge? So stay with me right till the end. You remember the song we've been working on, right? Last three videos, autumn leaves, autumn leaves, autumn leaves, autumn leaves. We've got all these chords, right? We talked about it before. We've got like a couple things going on here, three things. We've got a major two, five, one happens there. We've got a minor two, five, one happens there. Then they happen again. And then at the end, we've got some quick two fives. I'm just going to give you more tools today. I'm going to give you more licks so that you can have them at your disposal and they'll be stuck in your brain and we're going to practice them a bunch. Lick, 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 lick. I wrote you guys some licks. Look, I wrote them for you and you can screenshot it. These are the licks we're going to use. Okay, we're gonna go through them fast, no messing around. We've got a major two, five, one, and B flat, right? Like that. Here's the first lick, it goes like this. Again. Not perfect. It's got a good contour, skips in it. This little thing I do in this bar here, I like to do it a lot. It goes, da 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 da. We go up and then we just mess around a little bit. We sidestep. Da 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 da. First one. It's a little high for me. Nobody ever said that I wasn't really super high tech. So look what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to hold it up so you can read it. And then I'm going to play you a bass line. All right, that's the first one. You ready? Do you remember how it goes? Now you sing it, all right? You can read it and you can sing it and we're gonna go slow. Two, three, four. giving you licks for major two five ones, licks for minor two five ones, and a lick for the fast two fives that happen at the end, all right? A couple licks for each of those. Just tools, they're just going right in the old belt, right? Okay, here comes your minor two five one licks. some neat things. It goes up to the flat nine on the D7 altered chord. Da, 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 like that. And then it also utilizes the sharp seven on the G minor chord. Da, 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 which is really nice. Da, let's see. Da, 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 da. Good to mix up your rhythms. With me? Four. Good, by yourself? Good. 
to show them to you. Screenshot time. All right, last licks of the day. Cabins over the fast two five at the end. Remember, we've got a G minor, C seven, F minor, B flat seven, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you an easy one at the beginning. It goes like this. Da -da 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 -da. Next one goes like this. It's just a variation on what we just did, but it's nice to use triplets. Jazz players use triplets. You can barely articulate if you want. Something like that. Or Exactly. We don't want to overshoot. Never want to overshoot. You three, four. Good. And I got one more for you. Happy birthday. This one's cool. You start on the seventh degree of the minor. All right, you've got everything you need to build a good solo now. I swear you do. You've got so many licks to choose from. Major 2-5 licks, minor 2-5 licks, and then the quick ones, right? You can put them in almost any order you want, as long as the lines kind of naturally lead to each other, and make your own solo. If you don't mind checking it out, I'm going to put the link up for you to go listen to another recording I did of Autumn Leaves on YouTube. It, I think it's called Autumn Leaves for Bobby McFerrin, and I use all these kind of tools in there. You can see how you can kind of put them together to make something that's hopefully beautiful and make your solo. I told you I'd be back with a challenge, and I am. I had this idea. I know you guys have been working really hard, and it makes me so happy. Thank you so much for watching these tutorials um, and for practicing on your own. And this is my challenge. We're going to use a hashtag, Amy Nolte Challenge. You do what I taught you. Take these licks. You can use my play along track if you want from the other video. And I'll play for you, you know, I'm your own personal karaoke machine. And all you have to do is take only these licks that I taught you, paste them together, Learn a solo. Show me how you take these licks and put them where they go and make a recording of yourself. And then all you have to do is post it, Twitter or Facebook, hashtag Amy Nolte Challenge. Fun, right? As I start to see these videos coming in, I'm going to retweet them and I'm going to repost them so that we can all encourage each other and see how we're doing. Maybe some of you are shy. If you're shy, direct message me. For a short time, I'm accepting everybody who requests me as a friend on Facebook, so everybody can direct message me. I wanna help no matter what, so direct message me your video. I'll check it out and give you some feedback. Promise.
All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for practicing. Keep it up.